everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about what I buy from the grocery store that I can stock in my pantry or freezer. Today I went to Kensington Market in Toronto and it's one of my favorite places to shop for health foods because there's a whole bunch of health food stores one after the other and they have some of the best prices in the city. Many people think that eating healthy is expensive, but that's not necessarily the case. It depends on the things that you're buying. So for example, if you're going for the ready-made foods inside of their freezer section, or if you're going for the vegan, gluten-free boxed mac and cheese that you think is healthy because they're selling it in the health food store, or even some of the sandwich spreads that are being sold there. Those can get a little bit pricey and what I do is that if I do feel for those foods then I balance it out with a whole bunch of other cheap foods. For example, your beans, your lentils, your grains that you can buy in bulk and that tends to balance things out. First up, I purchased tempeh. I used to get it cheaper elsewhere but then they raised the price to $3.50 and it would require a bus fare of $6 to get there and back. So instead of making a separate trip, I got it here for $3.79 each. I've been loving Chocosol coffee for the past couple of months and I've only seen it in one store in Kensington called 4 Life Natural Foods. While it's pricier than some grocery store brands, it's less expensive than a pound of brand name whole bean coffee and way less expensive than buying a cup a day at the coffee shop. I purchased lima beans which were actually cheaper pre-packaged than in bulk. The bulk was $3.99 per pound but here I bought a 780 gram bag for $4.79. So if we do the math, I paid 80 cents more for the difference of 326 grams. When you cook the beans, they expand like crazy so it's super cost effective. We're talking about doubling or tripling its dry amount. I brought my own container to Essence of Life, took the tearaway, and filled my mason jar with spelt flakes instead of using their plastic bags. I thought it was worth mentioning because this is awesome for the environment that they allow this. While this is technically processed food and not as healthy as actual spelt grains, the flakes bake better into a granola than kernels, so I often have both in my pantry. Next up, I'm almost out of homemade laundry detergent, so I wanted to restock on washing soda. It's about a dollar more expensive on Amazon, and it's something that I use anyway, so yay for savings. I just went ahead and bought it at Kensington. In terms of perishable items, I got these Brussels sprouts for a little over a dollar and all these potatoes for one dollar exactly. I have produce at home that I haven't touched yet, so I didn't go too crazy in this department. So that's all I have for you this week. As you can see, I didn't go too, too crazy with my purchases. I'm pretty much only buying these foods for myself, so I don't wanna be eating the same thing for months on end. I wanna be able to purchase a small amount, finish it completely, and then go for another purchase. So I'm hoping that these tips have saved you a bundle and if you did enjoy watching this video please remember to subscribe and hit the like button. See you next week!